guys, this is Tyler at Southern California EMS Training Institute. Today we're going to talk about more medication administrations and today we're actually talking about glucose. Uh, this is going to be a medication that is administered um, typically for our diabetics who are having that low blood sugar. Um, Glucose, what it does is you're going to have this patient ingest this medication or eat this medication um, and it's actually going to help raise the sugar levels inside of their blood. Uh, so again, those sugar levels can be used for metabolism and um, getting sugar to the brain and other things inside this body. So that's what our glucose is for. Uh, it's indicated for any patient who is actually altered. We want these patients to be altered. We can see what happens with, when a patient has low blood sugar levels inside of their body, right, one of the first organs that gets affected is actually their brain. That's why this patient presents with altered mental status typically. So we want to give this patient glucose, right? So we want them to be altered in this situation. But however, we also want them to be able to swallow. This patient has to be able to control their own airway and they have to be able to swallow this medication. If they're unconscious and I'm just squeezing this into their in, into our patient's mouth, that might become an airway hazard, right? And that's going to be an issue for my patient here. So um, two things we want with our patient. We want them, again, to be, have an altered mental status, but we also want them to be able to swallow. This patient should also be a diabetic um, who controls their diabetes typically with medication. Uh, if that's not the case, we can always check a patient's blood sugar, and they should have a documented blood sugar of less than 70 milligrams per deciliter. That's really what we're looking for there. Um, and again, we need medical direction, and medical direction approval prior to administering this medication. So before we administer it, we're gonna make sure that our patient is indicated, we go through our six rites and D-dice, and we have medical direction approval uh, prior to giving them this medication. Now, a couple things we need to know, that the dose for this medication is actually one tube. So we're gonna twist off this top and we're gonna have this patient take the entire tube of glucose. Uh, sometimes I recommend actually squeezing it between the, the, the cheek and the gum. Kind of helps absorb it a little bit quicker. Um, this medication takes about 15, 20 minutes to really get into their system and really start working. Uh, but again, give it a little bit of time and it will do its job. Some contraindications for this medication. If my patient is too altered or is not um, able to swallow this medication, don't give it to them because again, it can uh, cause airway issues. And then the other one would be is if they have a blood sugar that's greater than 70 milligrams per deciliter, there's no reason for us to give this because hypoglycemia is not the cause of my patient's altered mental status. So let's think of other reasons why my patient might be altered. When we're gonna give this medication, guys, again, pretty simple. Um, go ahead, remove the top. Instruct your patient, uh, just to let them know what's going on, let them know uh, exactly how, what you're gonna do. I typically hand it to them, hey, like, hey, I need you to eat this whole tube of glucose or eat this, you know, this stuff right here. Uh, they do come in different flavors. And, and your patient's gonna swallow it and try to get that stuff into their system. Again, like I said, it takes about 15, 20 minutes for it really to start working. We are going to want to reassess our patient. In about 10 minutes, please recheck the blood sugar. Uh, keep checking your patient's vital signs and then reassess your patient's mental status, right? Check their ANO level, uh, maybe their AVPU level, and even their GCS to really see if this patient's, or sorry, if this medication, this glucose, is helping our patient in restoring that brain function in this patient. This is a very short acting medication. It's a simple sugar and the body breaks it down really quick. So once we give this to them and we fix our patient's problem, we do want to get them some complex car carbohydrates, which means we need to get this patient something to eat, right? Maybe some bread, some sandwiches, uh, something that's a little bit more substantial inside their diet. So that's a little bit about um, activated, or sorry, this is a little bit about instant glucose. Um, again, you guys, this is Southern California EMS Training Institute. And thank you guys for watching.